there everyone, welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. I hope you've been really well since the last time we saw each other. Well today I'm going to be doing um, a flip cup pour painting, just with one cup today rather than my usual four or five cups of paint. And I'll be doing it today on this 45 centimeter square thick edge canvas. Now I did run out of tape, so I sort of rescued a bit of tape and stuck it around and I managed to get around most of the canvas today, but yeah, it should be fine. Hopefully I won't be too messy. And I've put in some giant push pins to keep my canvas off the surface of the table. Now what paints am I using today for my flip cup painting? I'm going to be using mostly Montmartre colors today. I'm going to be using their um, orange. Um, ooh, light purple, some magenta, and some gold today. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of extreme sheen metallics. I'm using their amethyst and pink tourmaline. They're made by Deco Art. So they should all look lovely together, although Using the orange, uh, there's a little bit of a risk that I'm going to get brown or green happening. But yeah, we'll see. I'll keep my mix relatively um, thick today. Now my pouring medium today is Floetrol and just a touch of water to get the consistency right. So I used for the, the Montmartre colours, I mixed up 100 grams of each of the colours and then 100 grams of Floetrol and then added a little bit of water. And these ones I don't I didn't want to use a lot today. I used 15 grams of each of these and about seven or eight grams of flow troll. This is really pretty thin, so you don't need much flow troll to get it to get it right. Now I will be using some silicone oil as well. It will be a relatively active mix today with the flow troll, um, but so I don't need to use much silicone oil. So I'll only add about two drops of silicon oil to each of those colors and none to the extreme sheen metallics. Um, I do want a relatively busy painting but I do want some interesting looking cells as well. So yeah we'll just see how we go. Anyway let's get started. Right, so these are my mixed up colors I'm using today. Um, the consistency wise reasonably thick if I do a, a twirly shape with my spoon, the bump on the top of the paint stays there for about three seconds. The gold is perhaps a little bit thicker than that. Um, and I tried to keep the extreme sheen metallics about the same consistency. Now the um, silicon I'm using today is just the Montmartre um, silicon oil. I'm going to add it to all the colors except the extreme sheen. Now because it's quite a reactive mix already, I'll just put two drops in. May not seem like much, but a little bit goes a long way. So just two drops. And then I mix it in reasonably well, because you don't want big blobs of silicon coming out in your paint. see quite a lot of um, air in this gold. Hopefully I'll get rid of some of that later with a bit of torching. I have to think about the layering of my colors a bit because I don't want to get um, my green or any sort of yucky color. I think I should be right with these colors. I might keep the gold and the, the orange, oh no, maybe the orange and the purple away from each other a bit. They're more than likely to give a, an interesting um, combination. Might get brown if I do the orange and the purple together. So I might keep it in the order I've actually got at the moment. Mm. 
Now again I'm using one of these big cups because I'm just using one, one cup on my painting today rather than multiple flip and drag cuts that I've been doing in the past. Interesting, interested to see how, how it works out. I think we're just about right. Now if you're using American Floetrol and not Australian Floetrol, you may need to use more silicon, maybe like four or five drops or even six drops of silicon. The extreme sheen should create its own like um, cells or or pearls in the painting. Okay, my cup. Now I'm going to start with, oh, what colour will I start with? Maybe the bit of orange. Most of that won't come out of the cup. And then I'll put some magenta. Just drizzling it on top of the previous colour. A um, bit of purple. cups over here. Got another painting drying on this side. My space is limited today. Put the cup aside. Put my canvas. Right. Wipe my gloves. Now some people like to just flip the cup over onto the canvas. I don't do that because I get paint everywhere. Now because it's just one cup, no, I'll do it the way I know works. Got my little wall scraper gadget here. I'll put that on top like so. And then Slide it out on top of my canvas. Now I'm not going to drag it this time. I'll just flip the cup over um, and just let it all run out. I'll just give it a couple of seconds to drip out from the bottom. way too much paint but you do want reasonably thick paint layer of paint if you're going to get cells okay we're ready now most of this will get tipped off but I might just do that in the corner see we're getting cells already so I see, said it was, it's a very reactive, very reactive mix. Very pretty inside the cup. So I've just done my corners. Maybe a bit more in this corner. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh, let's see how this is going to go, eh? Now, I won't torch yet, since it's such a reactive sort of mix. spread it out over the canvas a bit and then I'll bring it back to the middle and then I'll torch a little bit Tons of cells popping up. Oh, now, how am I going to stretch this? Let me see, I've got a fair amount of paint down this way. Come back to this corner. Don't want to lose too much of that orange. I will lose some. I'll just bring that in. We'll go to this corner. I know you can't see it, but you will in a minute. Let's get rid of that yuck bit down at the bottom. I don't want to move it too much because I'm going to wreck the shapes of everything. Oh, some bizarre looking cells down this end. I wonder if I can tip those off. No, I'm going to off Ooh, 
It's looking very cool. I'll be getting all the sides covered. Just about. Let's get my palette knife, wherever I've put it. We'll just cover up. any white bits that are still showing we're good I think we got no mud just a little bit more yeah okay now we'll give it a bit of a, a torch So don't overdo it. A few more cells appearing perhaps. Okay. Sometimes I overdo it and then I get a gazillion cells. I think that's good. Now I'll just run my palette knife around the, the bottom edge of the painting and then I'll bring you in for a closer look. So here we go. Hopefully you can see that one. If you like bling, this one is certainly for you. It's very blingy. The extreme sheens reacted really nicely with the other colors. The silicon gave us um, really lovely looking cells. Now if I would have used a bit more paint, I could have, may not have needed to stretch it out as far and I may have got more rounded cells. Uh, yes, I really like how this one turned out. The extreme sheen doesn't really give cells, it gives like pearls. So I've got pearls with some cells inside them. It's just really lovely. Like this one here, we've got extreme sheen made that like um, pink tourmaline like pearl. And then on, in the inside, we've got that that lovely cell with the orange and uh, the purple. Just zoom backwards again so you can see it. So what did you think of that one? I think this one is really beautiful. I really liked how the colours work together and I'm so pleased I didn't get mud today. So just be aware when you're layering colours in your cup, don't put colours next to each other that are going to create yucky colours you don't want when they mix together. Try to, to separate them out a little bit, put some sort of different colours in between and fingers crossed you should be right. Um, anyway, it's time for me to clean up now and unfortunately time for you to go already. Time flies, doesn't it? Anyway, um, if you like what you saw today, please take a moment to press the like button. Helps my content get found on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please take a moment to subscribe. Well, I hope you have a really great week ahead and I look forward to seeing you again next time. In the meantime, happy painting.